We got him, then we lost him. Ray Diaz was recently in the news because he was exposed as basically being an abusive piece of crap. There were videos of him out there where he was abusing his girlfriend at the time who was only 17 years old. Meanwhile, he was 33. And in these videos, we can hear Ray actually hit his girlfriend, scream at her, and even tell her to kill herself and to die, and lots of other things. Ray Diaz was also arrested in the past for similar behaviours against his ex-girlfriend, Landy. Anyway, thanks to Keemstar and some others on Twitter and on YouTube, the message was spread around and the LAPD finally decided to put out a statement saying that they were going to be looking into and investigating Ray Diaz. And then on the 13th of July, the LAPD posted a tweet to their Twitter saying, After a thorough investigation, LAPD detectives from the Elite Robbery Homicide Division Special Assault Section arrested 33-year-old social media personality Ray Diaz for sexual assault in San Diego, California with the assistance of San Diego Police Department. Raimundo Diaz bail is set at $500,000. Dollars. My name is Rag Reynolds and welcome back to Medium Rare and when I heard that news I was so happy, I was so relieved and I thought yes we got him, we got this terrible scumbag of a human being. $500,000, that's a lot, I don't see him making bail. But unfortunately he did make bail. He got out on a $50,000 bond. Because when you go via a bond, you can actually get out on just 10% of what the bail amount is. So Ray Diaz has actually been released from jail because he made bail. And people were not happy about this and one of the best tweets I saw was actually from Keemstar. And Keemstar tweeted, Ray Diaz is out of jail on a 50k bond. And it's uh, Keemstar hiding away in some bushes. Unfortunately though, the girl who Ray Diaz had been abusing, Angelica, his victim, she came out with this video about how scared she was after he made bail and uh, just check this out. So I just found out that Ray got released from, from jail and I, I just feel really scared right now. I don't know what to do. I'm scared to go home. And I just, I don't think this is fair. He got out of jail for $50,000. And I just don't think that with everything that he's done, how scared he's made me feel that that's okay. I literally don't. I'm so scared to go home. I'm so scared and I don't know what to do. So I just want to put that out there because I, I don't know what to do. So obviously this is not really a shocking reaction for Angelica to have, considering everything she went through, she came out with her story, she had all the support of everyone going forward, and finally Ray was arrested, and now, now he's out, and now she has to try and live with that, she has to try and deal with that, and obviously that is a huge deal for her to try and get her head around. She says she's scared to go home because maybe Ray Diaz is going to show up at her house, and he's got a history of violence, he's quite a violent and abusive guy. To her, maybe she thinks that he'll actually show up and murder her. He might, he might actually kill her because that's the kind of guy that he seems to be. So she's rightfully scared and this is horrible for her to have to deal with. One of the only things we've seen from anyone to do with Ray since he has been released was this picture on Instagram. And it's his mother, and his mother says, Your mom's got your back through the thick and thin. At the end of the day, they doing it all for the clout. Hashtag doing it for the clout. Hashtag Ray Diaz. And how delusional does someone have to be to really believe this? I mean, I understand that mothers and parents often have unconditional love. They're people who, they don't want to see the truth. They just want to see their kid as this lovely little angel who can do no wrong. They don't want to deal with it. She's probably in denial. But maybe she has no idea. Maybe Ray has convinced her that he's right. Maybe she's not actually seen these clips online. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I don't know if she's seen this stuff or not. But it is sad that this mother is out here defending her son in this way. And really, it's an indefensible position. There's nothing here for her to clutch onto that he has no he has no sort of innocent case the proof is out there the video clips were there 
and he tried to justify those by saying they were just acting when clearly that was not the case it was th those clips were not acting of him before i really don't know what to say about about this because i actually kind of feel sorry for the mother it's not her fault her son's a monster so I do feel a bit sorry for her, but maybe she knows fine well what's going on. Maybe I'm being too optimistic. Maybe I need to be a bit more pessimistic and just say, well, she's just enabling him. She knows exactly what's going on, but she's lying about it anyway. But really, we don't know for sure what's going on there. And here we have another tweet from Angelica around the same time she posted that video. And she says, I have never been so scared in my life. Ray Diaz is out of jail. Do a little search on Ray Diaz on Twitter and you just scroll down. People people are obviously very, very upset over this situation. They really do not like Ray and rightfully so. He has done some horrible things. People like Ray Diaz make me want to vomit, have fun in a cage. That's what you deserve, you sex offender. Throw Ray Diaz into an effing cage and never let him out. And there are loads of responses like this all over the internet and rightfully so. People are rightfully angry about this guy. This guy is a scumbag, and as I talked about in my previous video, he deserves all that's coming to him. He deserves to be in prison. He does not deserve to be free. He is a man who was preying on a young girl. He is a man who's exhibited weird and creepy behaviours in the past, for example, when he called a 15-year-old on Instagram a dream girl. And then even taking away the age factors from all of this, he is a guy who has actually been domestically abusing his partners. A guy using physical violence, a guy using emotional abuse, it's just right across the entire spectrum. This guy is a scumbag and he is also a liar. He is dangerous and he deserves to be in prison. I cannot imagine what the likes of Angelica are going through right now hearing that he is actually out on bail and he is out at large, able to go places and do things right now when a lot of people know that he is guilty for a fact. It must be terrifying for Angelica and she says she's never been so scared but it really must be terrifying to think, oh no, this guy, this dangerous monster knows where I live and I've put my story out there I've been the one who's put my story out there and I helped get him arrested. I helped put him in a cage for a short amount of time. And now he's out. And this is a guy with a past history of violence and being very, very angry. She's right to be scared. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video here. I'll be sure to post another video if there are any other big updates to this Rediaz situation. But for the time being, that is pretty much everything. He was arrested. He then got out on bail. Angelica is terrified. Those are the three main points here. Let's just all hope that he does end up going to prison for a long time. And I know in my last video I said I'll try and get a not so dreary and depressing video out next. That obviously hasn't happened. So excuse me for that. But until next time, my name is Rag Reynolds. This was Medium Rare. And you're welcome, society.